Hello guys, in this video I want to show you guys a very cool launcher that I've, I got for my Galaxy S3. It's called Windows 8 for Android. Yes, I know it's Windows, but I actually like to customize customize my phone, uh, make it look very different, and um, uh, that's the beauty of Android. You could make your phone look like ever, whatever you want without rooting or, or jailbreaking your phone. Um, so let's go ahead and when you open it, I already installed it. This is how it looks by default. It looks very, very, very nice. The the difference between this one and Windows um, 7 um, the launcher is that the Windows 7 launcher, you could slide just up and down. And it just tiles that just keep piling up, piling up, piling up. And when you click over here, you open up your app draws. Well, on this one, it's pretty different. Um, here, when you click Start, you go and this is your app draw which is not bad it looks very good and it makes sense making it here make putting it there in the start um, here you got your mail you got your safari you got your phone you got your store you got your messaging when you first start the app and you click on one of the tiles you will get this you will get the application chooser from here you're gonna choose whatever app you want to use for mail you could use your email the one that is universal inbox or you could go ahead and use your Gmail so now when you click on it again it will open up your Gmail um, in your Safari um, icon right there tile you could choose whatever browser you want I choose Chrome in your store you could use your Am A Amazon App Store or you could go ahead and choose your your Google Play Store or is it the the Play Store and these um, some of them are already assigned by default so you can not actually change these like the phone right there nice. it looks very very nice here on YouTube right there very nice very cool your camera opens up your normal camera but you can also assign another camera for that one. This is not a default camera. You can also assign another camera. Um, here you got these empty blocks. In these empty blocks, you could go ahead and add your favorite apps. Let, let's go ahead and put my favorite apps right here. Let's put dog catcher. Let's put um, uh, football, fantasy football. You can put your Bank of America app right there. You can put currents right there, and so on, so on. You can keep on adding a lot more apps, whatever you want, right there. It's pretty convenient. That makes it very, very convenient. You got Flipboard. You got everything right there. Um, here, these are like folders right here. Right here, you click on one of them, and this is all gonna be empty. So here, you can go ahead and add all um up to six games. Let's say, uh, let's go ahead and add um, Jetpack Joyride. Look at that. See? That looks very, very cool. Very nice. And you can also, here in social, you could add your social apps. You get keep adding here. You could go ahead and put another app. It doesn't necessarily got to be social. You could right here, you could put, I'll go ahead and put Craigslist right there. That's very nice. Here, media, you can add your media. Um, um, apps it doesn't necessarily it has to be media like I said you could add other stuff like for example you could add let me put my my fantasy baseball app there my gamefly app and here if you want to change your background all you got to do is click here in settings click the background and from here, you, these are the colors that you could choose for your black background. Uh, right now, if you want to put it red, th that's how it looks. It looks very, very nice. Um, if you want to manage your tiles, like if you want to change the, you eliminate the apps that you assign to air, uh, one of the tiles, you could click here, manage tiles, and you, you're going to get this right here. The ones with the X means that they can't be changed. The one with the with the um, with no X, that means that it can change. Like right here, if I click this, app remove from tile. So right here, if I go click back, now I can go back and assign another tile for it. If I wanna put the Amazon App Store here instead of the Google Play Store, so now you can. 
and so that's that's a very cool feature there too uh, what else can you do here let me see what else can you do uh, same thing here if you want to click here manage tiles and if you want to clear the folders right here you can go ahead and click there and all the apps inside that folder will be eliminated you click back you click that and now they're all empty so now you go ahead and add again the new apps here whatever you know very nice looks very cool uh, you can also go which one manage when you manage choose manage apps you could choose when it's in this state colors tiles and you could choose let's say let me put magenta and you can put click there color has been applied you go back and let's say you want to choose another color purple let's apply it for that and here you can just go ahead and sky blue let's apply to that uh, dark green let's apply to that and like you can see every time I go back the color changes like right here let's go back and choose another color dark blue so you change it let it go to that and blue see you can see right there I can put it that and that's it and I go back and that's how it goes but let's say you go you want to go um, reset all the colors you want to reset all the colors you just press that and it will automatically it should reset the whole thing there it goes when you click back it will automatically go back to default oh that's very very nice um, the, one of the negative the negative things about this app is that um, so far right now it has no animated apps animated tiles that's a bummer right there another thing is that it won't let you like for example if I want to touch and hold and move the tiles reorganize the tiles it won't let you reorganize the tiles yet uh, that's a bummer too another thing is the background section there's no white where the hell is the white? <laughs> I love color white and I would definitely choose white here and there's no white here so that for me that sucks uh, let's go ahead and put this blue that looks very very nice right there uh, and, and here the, another great thing too is that the you don't see the locks you don't see the notification area but if you go like this uh, at least in the Galaxy S3 you could touch up here and you autumn you, you still would have access to your notification area which is very nice to have and when you go back you it completely hides here you can click right here and it will also um, show your notifications right there you just click here in the bottom it will autom automatically show you it and I, I gotta say guys um, this is a very very cool app um, it's uh, it's not free it's 199 so that's why I bought it and make this made this video so that way you guys can see uh, what's what's it all about before you guys pull put the money on for down for it but you know if you like to customize your phone and make your phone look very different this is very different <laughs> it does look very good I like it look at that looks very nice like I said, you can assign colors, you could change the colors of the tiles, you could change the apps assigned to the tiles. Here in the folders, you could they say games and everything. It would be nice if it lets you um, customize the words here, customize these folders. Like um, if I want to put produ productivity instead of games, that would be nice. Um, this app, this launcher actually needs um, improvements as well. And another thing is that a lot of people don't know is that when you press, when you choose a launcher, make sure you choose that so that every time you press the home button so you don't get this, make sure you use use by default then choose Windows 8. Now when you choose the, the press the home press the home button, you won't get that bl block right there. I'm surprised the amount of people that still don't know um, to choose that. That way, you, it doesn't get annoying. And whenever, if you don't, if you want to change your, if you want to change your um, launcher back to default, you just go, go to settings, go to application manager, and look for the launcher that you are using. Like right now, I'm using um, Windows 8, 
and here just press clear default and now when you press the home button you will get this again so you know, just don't be intimidated by using this as default I surprised the amount of people that actually get intimidated by that just press use that default and press Windows 8 and now it won't be annoying Okay, and also it doesn't changes the home the lock screen go to lock screen uh, the lock screen it does not affect the lock, lock screen at all so you still got everything here the way it is on Galaxy S3 so far this is a very cool app it looks nice it makes your phone look different that's the beauty of Android you could change you can make your phone look however you want without rooting without jailbreaking and that's it guys um, it's $1.99 in the App Store so guys I hope you guys like the video let me know what you think about this app. Till next time.